Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Hey Mr. Easy. And welcome back to a new video for A11 for the lessons today. We have 4.5 for the linear transformation of roots for the questions video. And we'll get right into the first question. But before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring on the page button so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll get right into the first question. So these questions are from exercise 4E from the Core Pier 1 textbook, so you can check it out. So anyways, here's question 1. The cubic equation x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0 has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Find the equations with roots alpha plus 1, and so on. And number 2, 2 alpha, 2 beta, and 2 uh, gamma. So I'll split into two different sections so that it's easy to answer them. So for part A, the way you will answer these kind of questions is that you would set a new variable, let's say w, equals the root, which in this case is alpha plus 1, beta plus 1, and gamma plus 1, but replace the root with uh, the original variable, which is x. So it'd be w equals x plus 1, x plus 1. So now we will have to solve for x, which is x equals w minus 1. So we have to substitute w minus 1 uh, for x in all the different um, uh, in the different places in the original equation. So let's read the original equation. The original equation is w, uh, x cubed, oops, x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Substitute x by w minus 1, so it would be w, oops, w minus 1 cubed minus 7 times w minus 1 squared plus 6 times w minus 1 plus 5 equals 0, oops, plus 5 equals 0. So now we basically just rearrange the equation and just uh, simplify the whole equation. So let's just expand this bracket right here using binomial expansion. Notice get to w cubed minus 3w squared plus w, 3w minus 1 minus 7 times the expansion of w minus 1 squared, which is w squared minus 2w plus 1 and plus on the rest, which is plus 6w minus 6 plus 5 all equals 0. So if you were to simplify this, which I have the simplified version already, you will get the final equation of w cubed minus 10w squared plus 23w minus 9 equals 0. And that's the equation. And for the second part, we basically just do the same. Or we set w as a new variable equals 2x. So therefore, x equals w over 2. So we substitute this into all parts of the equation. So it will be w minus sorry, w over 2 cubed minus 7 times w over 2 squared plus 6 times w over 2 plus 5 equals 0. And we can uh, basically just rearrange it to get w cubed over 8 minus 7w squared over 4 plus 3w plus 5 equals 0. So we can now just basically be a way, um, simplify the whole thing by timesing all terms by 8 to get rid of this denominator. So by timesing every, by multiplying everything by 8, you get the final equation of w cubed minus 14w squared because 8 times this whole thing this is basically 8 over 4, which is 2, which therefore means it's minus 7 times 2. And then the third term will be plus 24w plus 40 equals 0, and that's the answer, equals 0, and that's the answer. And move on to the next question, oops. We have the cubic equation x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Without solving the equation, find the equation with roots 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1, and 2 gamma plus 1, and give your answers in the form this right here. So they gave us a new variable as w, so we just have to use that w. So w equals the root, which in this case is two uh, alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1, and 2 gamma plus 1. And just set the alpha, beta, gamma as x, so it'll be 2x plus 1. So rearrange the x subject, to equal, so you get x equals w minus 1 over 2. So, so you basically just put, now we just put this into the original equation. So you get um, w minus 1 cubed, w minus 1 over 2, sorry, cubed minus 3 times w minus 1 over 2 squared, plus 4 times w minus 1 over 2, plus, uh, sorry, minus 7 equals 0, oops, minus 7 
equal to zero. So, so what I'd like to do first is that I would like to first um, get rid of all the denominator. So by by uh, conserving the top power, it will be w minus one cube over eight, right? Minus three times w minus one squared over four plus four um, plus two because four divided by two is two times w minus one minus seven equals zero. And piece of this times everything by eight to get w minus one cube minus six times w minus one squared plus sixteen times w minus one minus fifty six equals zero fifty six equals zero and now we just expand the whole all the bracket to get w cube minus three w squared plus three w minus one minus six times the expansion of w minus one squared which is w squared minus two w plus one plus um sorry this should be sixteen plus sixteen w minus sixteen minus fifty six equals zero and now you can basically just simplify the whole thing which I'll wrap up the top and I'll write it up here so it's easier to see so by simplifying everything you get a final equation of w cubed minus 9w squared plus 31w minus 79 equals 0 and that's the final oops equals 0 and that's the final answer and moving on to the next question we have the quarter equation s to the power 4 plus 2x uh, cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 has roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Without solving the equation, find the equations with in integer coefficients that have roots 2 alpha, 2 beta, 2 gamma, and 2 delta. So we set a new, a new variable as w equals 2x, as usual. So therefore, x equals w over 2, right? So now we just basically sub uh, substitute w minus two, uh, w over two by x in the equation, or the other way around. So it will be w over two to power four, plus two times w over two to power three, minus three times w over two to power of two, plus four times w over two, and plus five equals zero. So now just now just expand everything. It will be w to power four over sixteen, plus two w cubed over 8 minus 3w squared over 4 plus 2w plus 5 equals 0. Now we can just multiply everything by 16 to get the final answer of w to the power of 4 plus 2 times um, 16 over 8 is basically 16 over 8 which is 2 times by 2 to get 4. So plus 4w cubed oops plus 4w cubed and then this will be 16 divided by 4, which is 4. And 4, 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. So minus 12w, oops. Minus 12w squared plus 32w plus 80. And that's the final answer. And this is for this question's video for 4.5 for the linear transformation of roots. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check my social media in the description, for example, YouTube or LinkedIn or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or initiation resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.humiseasy.com. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this short video for 4.5 for this linear transformation of the roots. Because this kind of concept is quite self-explanatory and you just have to make sure that you write the, you expand or you write the right terms in order to uh, simplify to get the correct answer. And in our next video, we'll move on to a new topic which is volumes of revolution which is quite exciting as it will involve calculus or integration. But anyways, I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.